Hey, how are ya? I found these canvases. That's not true. They've been laying here on my shelves. Uh, I did do the backgrounds just now, but th the size of them are interesting, okay? They're three by nine. I've painted on them before, but then, I don't know, I haven't done anything with them in a while. And I had the thought, I said, hmm, these kind of are in the shape of books, a book spine, if you will. There's me, and also I'm, Ella was just standing there, staring at me, so I was seeing if she wanted to sit with me. And there she is. A little, she's just a little baby. Just a little old lady baby. And there we are. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. This is actually an old video, I just never edited it. Edited it? I never edited it? Okay, sorry. And I'm choosing colors right now. I, I did the backgrounds of these purple and like a bluish, grayish, yeah, that color. And it's kind of the colors, I was going off the colors of my fairy tale book design, because I like those colors. They're pretty, and I don't have to think of new ones. I usually like to pick, when I do new things, which these I didn't turn into prints, but I kind of have that in mind when I make new stuff sometimes, is to keep them all certain ones in, in the same color theme so that they can go together and whatnot. Plus it's just, again, I don't have to think of new ones. And I like the, I like the colors, so I'll use them again, but in different ways. And these I'm just doing, they vaguely look like books. I kind of looked up some pictures of books because I was like, what do books look like? I forgot. And I, I obviously I don't put the titles on them, but I kind of, it still kind of looks like a book when they're together, you know? Maybe, you know? Sorry, I keep saying you know. I don't know if you know. It's just, a, when I listen to these back, I, I was talking to my brother, I, I, like, I notice the weird, the things that I say all the time. I, I say but a lot. I also say, uh, I say uh. I write as that. I also say anyways, and whatever I just said, I already forgot what I said, that I just called myself out on. Anyways. I, so these are kind of like books on my bookshelf, you know, the bookshelf painting. These are the books on their own. And I have a, there, I also have a 4x12 canvas that I think I should add to these because somebody was like, you should do ones at different heights. And I was like, I don't have, I don't, this is the only weird shaped canvas I have like this. But then I was like, no, I have a 4x12. I could see if, how that looks. And... But yeah, these are the detailed books off one of my bookshelves, but as canvases. I just thought it'd be fun. And I couldn't turn them into prints, but I turned them into bookmarks, which you'll see at the end. And I hope to do more. I just have already moved on to other things, but I'll come back around. Um, and I just kind of, these are also some new ideas. I was also testing out new it because I get, when I make a bookshelf and I'm drawing all these books, the, the designs on them kind of become repetitive and I get to a point where I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what else to make them look like. So these were kind of, I was trying out some new things. I always do that oval in the middle and then the lines at the top, but I was trying some new designs. I'm definitely going to keep this in mind the next time I do. I also, in my sketchbook, that's what I did before this, I just, I looked up pictures of some like really detailed books to get some ideas and then made them and then just added flowers everywhere but also just kind of like the basic look of them because you get just to a point where you're like this doesn't really look, even look like a book but I'm just taking elements of book spines and then doing whatever I want but I love these colors I love the top of this one too I'm just outlining with my black pen Posca, Posca pin, and I kind of just do it messily as, as I do everything, because the flowers are kind of scribbly already, so that's the vibe with everything else too, and some of these I had to do straight lines, but also I don't fully commit to that, I kind of break up the lines and I also kind of add scribble parts, just because... 
I can't, making things perfect is exhausting. I can't do that. So, and I like the imperfect look, scribbly look, and I'm adding gold now. This is, it's set, I think it's the brand Pen Touch. It also says Secura, Secura. I don't know which, I guess Pen Touch is the brand, but whatever, didn't matter. When in doubt, add gold. That's what I always say, and that's what I always do. And it always makes things better. I'm switching back back and forth between this small pen and the big pen. I needed the small pen for the detail, but it, they don't work. I don't know who designed it, or maybe I need to take a lesson on how to use the tiny pens because they don't work. The big pen always works. But I got to a point, I don't think I'm doing it yet, but I had to just pull all the ink off the tiny pen and then just dip the tip of the pen in it in the pool of ink as if I'm a I have a feathered quill and is that what it's called and I'm dipping my feathered pen thing into the ink anyways what am I talking about I, I loved I loved this I'm gonna do this more I loved the background of just swirly details I wanted these very ornate and shiny and on this one I'm adding gold yes that's, that's what I'm doing I'm adding the background little leaves and vines that's super cool I actually really like how that looked and at this point the pen wasn't working so I'm doing what I was talking about see where I'm struggling it's okay we figure it out we get through it I could have used a tiny, tiny brush, but that's terrible. But I've done that before. I should have probably just done that, but this obviously worked. I already did the voiceover of this and then it had a weird, it sounded like my microphone has a weird echo effect that I one time had turned on on accident. And it sounded like that, but I don't know why it was on. Anyways, here I am, here they are. Look how cute they are. I wanted them on a bookshelf. I didn't f haven't figured that out yet. That's kind of a bookshelf. I put them beside books. But I turned them into bookmarks and they're so cute. And I hope to do more and I love them. And then they can live on their own little bookshelf. And I love them and they're great. They're on my website. Okay, love you. Bye-bye.